Native Instruments offers 50 great instruments for free with the contact player, but you need to take some steps to get them in your DAW. So stick around and we will tell you how this is done. Native Instruments is one of the leading creators of VST instruments and effects. And if you want to use their sounds, you have to download the free contact player, which gives you 50 fantastic free sounds to get you started. But here's what you have to do. First, go to the website to the free contact 6 player. The link is below this video. On this page, you fill in your email address and then the download link will be sent to you by email. On that same page, scroll down to fill in your email again for the free contact selection of 50 instruments. Also here, an email will be sent to you with a serial number on it. So you will be receiving two emails. In the first email, you will find a download link which you can click on to download the native access software zip file. You need to have that installed to install other native instrument software and sounds. After installing, you can start the native access software from your desktop icon. Next, you have to log in with your Native Instruments account, or if you do not have an account, create a new account first and then log in. After logging in, you can install the Contact 6 player by clicking on Install below the picture of the Contact player. That's step one. In the second email you received, a serial number for the free sounds. At the left top of the native access window, you see a small sign saying add a serial. Click on that and paste the serial number you received in the second email. Now you can also install the free sounds for the contact player by clicking on install. After that, you can close the native access software. Next, you have to start your own DAW and add the path to the new VST in your VST plugin manager. For instance, in Cubase, you go to the VST plugin manager and add the path. And in Ableton Live, you can do that in the preferences, but there you can only select one VST folder. There is a little workaround for this. You can create shortcuts in the other folder. So I created a standard VSD folder and made shortcuts to the other folders and named them. These names you will find back in the plugins list. So now you can start the contact player and select sounds from the five different folders. If you select one sound, it will be played on MIDI channel one. If you select a second sound, that will automatically be set to channel two. Now I will play some of the sounds, which are really great. And in the meantime, please subscribe to our channel to stay up to date for new videos.